Atlanteans, Cody here. Now, welcome back to a brand new video. So, guys, I have done a clay soldier challenge before, but that was going up against other people, and we would have to get the resources to craft the clay soldier troops. But today, I have something different. So, we have a blue base over here that has some units ready to go. We have three chests, and each chest represents one round. So, for the first round, I have these set items. These are five stacks of the blue soldiers, two stacks of the blue bunnies, and 16 shear blades, which the troops get to pick up and utilize. Now, if we come over here, it's gonna be the same exact thing. So they're gonna be going up against each other with the same items. Let me know who you're voting for, blue or red. I built these bases, they're not the best, but what could be cool is if we had the chiseled mod, where uh, you get to, or chisel and bits, where you get to like bake really tiny, tiny bases. That could be pretty cool for the Clay Soldiers mod. Now, I'm not sure if it's possible because they might be on different versions of Minecraft, but if you guys hit 5,000 likes, we can make that happen and we can have tiny red versus blue bases and they can fight head to head in Mortal Kombat where people or soldiers will die. There will be clay everywhere. There will be no soldiers left behind because they will all be murdered by the other team. They don't They don't show mercy, these clay soldiers. They have a mind of their own and that's kill. Imagine being an NPC and the only job you knew how to do is kill. Like this boar, for instance. He just chills here. You know, if I provoke him, he will attack. He will try to maul you. But say it's like a, um, a creeper, for instance. All they do is go and blow up. That's a pretty sad life, you know? Really, really sad life. Anyways, we're moving on. So the first round will commence in just a moment. Now we do have two nexuses. I'm only going to activate um, one this round. The nexus basically uh, rejuvenates the troops and the other side needs to dismantle this by attacking it and eventually it will uh, break and the troops will never, uh, no longer come back to- Okay, it's time. I gotta place all these guys and give them their weaponry. We got some bunnies, they're gonna be hopping on the bunnies. Good to go. Uh, let me place them up there. Because <laughs> if you right click them, you become them. You act as the troop. And now I'm going to place all these shear blades so they can pick them up and uh, utilize them. Maybe some of the bunny troops will get them. Oh, I think, I, yeah, one bunny troop has a shear blade. They can uh, go and kill the other team. Let's get the red side all set up to go. Now, the bases will prove to be um, useful or not. Because if the, uh, the base has better defenses, they can obviously last longer and their troops will... Um, serve much longer. They won't die as fast. Uh, two units of bunnies, just like the other side. So it's completely even, just the bases are a little bit different. I um, think everybody's good to go. Red versus blue. Now, this isn't perfectly <laughs> red and uh, blue grass, but I use what I have, guys. All right, get, cut me some slack. I also did the banners and they got the clay soldier icon. It looks cool. All right, uh, oh, let me get rid of the middle. I got some two, I, two tools or items that I can utilize. They'll tell me how many troops there are. So the 90 troops versus 90 is sick, man. I'm ready to go. I don't know about you guys, but uh, round one beginning. Now each round will have uh, some new units that will come into play and new items that will make the troops even stronger and more deadly. Like they will be seriously powerful. Oh, the clay men are fighting. Here we go. Let's listen in. Yes, battle amongst yourself. The boar needs to go, all right? <laughs> what, what is the boar doing? You, dude, you, don't, don't be looking at me like that. We have a battle going on and you're sitting in here. This is crazy. Oh, this guy's a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky punk. He's trying to, he just escaped. What is it? He's an escapee. What, you're, you're retreating? Where are you going? Okay, most of the blue side, I think, is out. No, there's a lot of forces still in here, and it's mainly the bunny forces, which provide them with some more damage. I'm seeing some troops fall. We got some red, we got some blue, I'm picking them all up. They, oh, the body counts are rising. Looks like red is uh, losing, though. Oh my gosh, yes. Red, is, uh, they took out some of their troops, and they're being flooded, guys. They need to go for the nexuses. If they don't go for the nexuses, next eye, then they will die because uh, the troops will keep respawning. Uh, we can check the health of the Nexus by uh, holding over our cl uh, clay statistics display. 
They're both serving at 100%. None of them have taken damage. There are a few red units that have made their way inside the base. Nice. Oh, troops fallen. There it is. Can they get inside the... Uh, blue has a better choke point here. Uh, the red has kind of a bigger gate. So when that's open, you know, the blue side will be trying to make their way. They're, they're just sending slow amounts of units. Come on, red. You can do it. Just take them all out. My favorite cover is blue, so I'm not sure. Whoa, what was that? I'm not sure why I'm rooting for their side. No, oh, come on. Intense battle music is coming out here. A lot of the bunny mounts are starting to take the damage. The bunny mounts won't respawn, so once the bunnies die, they, they're, they're dead for good. Because, yeah, bunnies don't come back to life if they die. But uh, clay soldiers do. What are you doing, sir? Get out there in the battle. It's sitting here in your base looking like a scr scrub. I think the the, uh, the breaking sound is the shear blades because they only have a certain amount of uses. This guy, you're gonna, like, if the king sees you, he's gonna be mad. What? He's going for a sneak attack. Yo, what if I just open up the back? He's got, this guy died way out here. Crazy. Blue is moving in. Their offensive has begun. There are a few reserves out here. Uh, I'm not sure why they have such a, a presence in the back here. How many units do we have? There's only 19, 18 red still alive. They gotta dismantle this freaking nexus. They haven't even moved up to it. The, the red are making themselves known though out here in the battlefield, trying to distract them, trying to get some troops to come back to life. There's a lone bunny that has no rider. No rider bunny. It's all alone, the bunny bunny. Oh, oh, that guy made an attempt to go for the Nexus. It's coming out. Maybe I won't do two Nexus because it kind of makes them last a little bit too long. This battle's playing out pretty well, though, for the blue side. I think they're going to come out on top here. Let's see how many we got left. Dang, damage indicators go away for a moment. 12 red remain alive. I see they're the same units, guys. Same exact units. It's all about how they, they, they play their defenses. Do they leave their houses, their bases, and attack? Or do they stay and defend? He's Oh, this guy's going into the base. He's taking them out 1v1, dude. One damage. Now they do have 20 health, so that's going to take a while with the one hits. Jeez. Will there be a comeback? 9 and 59 left. Oh, my gosh. They are riding... In style here <laughs> some units are coming back to life nice keep it up you just got outlast them well we're gonna we're gonna watch this play out and see what happens and see if blue can get their act together and finish them off once and for all Alright guys, I'm going to have to call this. I don't know why, but they are not attacking the Nexus. So we're going to have to break it and uh, let, let's let them finish up the last of the troops here. Uh, I think they, they did a good fight, but uh, it wasn't uh, good enough, I guess. Look, at the, the boar's still in there, Mel. What is he doing? They're knocking some of them out of the arena, disqualifying them. This guy is riding a blue bunny, but uh, hey, he's, he's going to die. Yeah, I, I just got they, some of them are out of the arena. They they're out DQ'd, just like a uh, sumo wrestling match. They're out, out of the ring. You're out of the game. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Boar, you saw nothing. I didn't just urge the, all those things. You know, I didn't do that. Wait, they keep coming back to life. Nexus, die! Haha. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to become you. Leave me alone. So now there are none on the battlefield. Let's get the second round ready to go. I'll show you guys what we got in store today. I gotta actually clear my inventory because I don't want to have any extra stuff in there. Here we go. So round number two, we have a full uh, row of these soldiers who are going to be fighting today. Each side has that. 
three units of bunnies, 32 shear blades, a diamond, a gold nugget, and gunpowder. So I'll explain what those other items do. They power up the units just like the shear blades, but they also serve another purpose. Okay, here we go. All the red soldiers are in the battle right now. Red bunnies. Beautiful. And uh, let's get these all dropped in. Gunpowder, gold nugget, and diamond. So the diamond creates a super true... Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, the, it, it creates a super troop, but I thought one of them was going to pick it up. Uh, that's not good. There, there's a lot of super troops in there. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta redo that. Uh, I only got, I only want one soup. All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do for creating the diamond soldier. I place one unit, that's it, and uh, then I place down the diamond and picked it up. So there's only one super soldier on each side. Look at them all hopping around. This super soldier is actually riding a bunny, so he's gonna be freaking lethal. There's 32 shear blades and also the gunpowder. So let me explain what the gunpowder does. We've never used it before. Basically, if the troop dies, it explodes. Yeah, crazy stuff. <laughs> so watch out. Round number two is getting a little bit intense. Uh, let's see what happens. Open the gates. Gate, um, could you lay open? Oh, thank you. Uh, you too, sir? Oh, yes, uh, kind sir. How many troops do we have each? 146, 146. Uh, okay. Good luck, each side. Uh, Blue's just roaming around, not sure what he's doing, you know, lazy on the job. He's like, oh god, there's the army! <gasps> oh my gosh. So there is the uh, crown troop. So the gold nugget creates a king, and everybody follows the king. Now look at this king right here. He has dual wielding shear blades. He has the gunpowder buff to him. You can see the spots all over him. So he, he's like a mega troop. <gasps> oh, dude, that was insane! They just blew up. Everybody took a ton of damage on both sides. So the troops die. That, that, oh my gosh. That's nuts. Uh, so they have a mega king over here. Where is the blue king? He's supposed to be leading his troops. They all follow the king. And I'm having a feeling he's in here somewhere. Oh, let me break that. There he is. He was trapped. He couldn't lead his army. There's so many of the, the blue guys trapping him. Oh my gosh. The only way they could win is with their king. They're all inside there. Uh, their main cavalry outside is just getting demolished by the Red Army. Not looking good. Let's get a little bit of an update from... Oh, 107 though. Hold on. Blue's clearing the floor. They're picking up the Red. And most of their forces are inside their base. I don't believe this. The King is cowardly. He's staying inside the base. 80. They're all, they're all dropping. Look how fast they're dropping. 85 Red people left. 124 blue. I, I, is this going to be a back-to-back -back victory? Whoa! Explosions over here. They're all picking. Wait, they're picking back up the stuff. I gotta pick it up. Cause when they blow up, they're, they're all they're dropping their items, and more people are picking it up. And then that means there's gonna be more deaths. Oh no! It's, it's powering up the soldiers even more. <laughs> Luckily, when the uh, soldiers die, they uh. Oh, well, luckily when the sol regular soldiers die, that you know, it's just, they don't spawn back in. They just have the stuff. Explosions everywhere. I love this gunpowder. It's sick, but uh, it does, <laughs> it, it, it does get confusing as to what's going on. Who's doing damage to who? Pick that up. There is 42 red left. I don't believe this. Blue had no actual advantage. Uh, but they're coming out on top. It could be the bunny riding blue. I think their king is out as well. Where's the uh, blue king? Yeah, there he is. Look at the blue king. He's caught in the corner. Caught in the corner. He's made his way out after the victory looks all but certain. The red could get a few key explosions here, and that could lead them to victory. Their king, however, might be wiped. Oh, blue side lost their super soldier. He's outside right now. Not sure what he's going to do. There's a bird. The bird's going to come think these guys are uh, food. Oh, wow. 84 blue. 28 red. Come on. Fight. Fight. To the death. Uh, what do the reserves look like? Uh, one bunny. <laughs> a little bit empty in here, guys. <laughs> might want to go foo-foo your way out of there. Terrible news. The blue still have reserves in here. Eight. 
blue soldier with gunpowder explosives, and he's riding a red bunny. I've never seen anything like this before. It's, it's just tragic. 19 red. So little time. Red still has their super soldier. Their king, I would assume, has fallen. Yeah, I got the gold nugget, so he fell. This poor man, he, he's just witnessing the coolest thing he's ever seen in his entire life. His life has been boring up until this. He's like, there, there's so many of them, I just want to be a part of their game. Who do I fight for? Who do I live for? Do, can Boris see color? I don't think they can. 12 red. They're all in the mist here. It's going to come down. There's an explosive troop. It's going to come down to, uh, I think, their super soldier. The diamond up red player. Can't get a visual on his health bar, though. Let me try to see. It's going to be one that has like 180 or something. Whoa, there it goes. Yahtzee. I'm all, only seeing 20 health bars. He's right there. Ah, I can't. It's so hard to see it. Units are dropping. Um, he's off his bunny. The red player is off his bunny. He's got the cape. He's taking damage. He just got stabbed. Oh, he's got 100 out of 200 health. Okay, they're all going to be gaining up on him now. Is he the last one? If he is, I will call Mercy. There's three people left. I mean, <laughs> not much is going to happen. The sheer blades are breaking. The red, uh, the blue king is riding a bunny, a red bunny. That That is savage, man. It's like, you know what? I'm going to beat you guys, and then I'm going to ride you a bunny. Uh, that one took out a bunch of blue troops. I don't know where the second red troop is. I only saw the super soldier. That's the only one taking damage. So there is a stray red one around. He's probably kept alive to go tell uh, the rest of the people not to come back because uh, blue is just so dominant. All right. Yep, we're moving on to the uh, last and final round here. Round number three. If you voted for blue, well, you voted for probably the, wrong, the, the right team. They've been wiping the floor today, making fools out of the red squad. It's not even funny, man. Look at them. They're just... They're dropping like flies. Uh, third round is going to be a little bit hectic here. I'm excited to see what happens, though, because there's a crap ton of troops. Twice as many. I mean, oof, we're going to be dealing with like 150. Three, I mean, 300 of them. 600 total? I'm going to hold off on spawning in all the troops. I've spawned in basically half of them. And uh, that's going to be because, well, there's a bit of a lag issue with all these guys. It doesn't look like a lag issue, but see... I open the gate and well, it takes a little bit. So I'm gonna open them both up. They're gonna start attacking. And after like a few minutes, I think maybe five minutes, I'll place in the rest of the remaining troops and they'll have reinforcements each. Here we go, the gates are open. Dual wielding exploder. Look, oh, he faked them out. One red out there, is he gonna meet the blue? Blue's open. They're kind of staying quiet. Dual wielding a, a nugget, or the king over there, dual wielding blade king, hiding by the board. Maybe what's happening here is the the boar just ate the king? Well, what I was going to say is maybe the boar is working with the blue side, but I saw the king go over there, and then I saw him disappear. Uh, is the king caught up in behind here? Oh, there he is. What? I don't understand words. Words can't explain what just happened. Uh, we're at 154 red, 159 blue. I don't know, man. Whoa! That was a mainly red side blow. They're not going to be regening. They're just going to—they're going to take that damage, and they're going to be low when they go to fight some other troops. But it didn't drop them. Pick them up. See what we got. Some troops that, yeah. Oh wow! Ah, the explosions! Oh, explosions! Oh, this is picking up really fast. 142 to 148. Those massive explosions in the blue lines are proving that the red side is not going to go down without a fight. It's close. 142, 138. Oh my gosh, red is picking up, dude. Hype in the chat. Oh my god, this is crazy. I am, I am actually fired up. Fired up indeed. We are now at the two minute marker. Once we hit three minutes. <laughs> Bonnie just took off. Uh, once we hit the. The five minute marker, we will go off and start instituting a new rule of land. Unless the troops drop below 50. If they drop below 50, I'm spawning the rest in, alright? Both sides. Ugh. Wow. 
I, I've never seen like a, a demolish state from a, an army this fast. 87. We're dropping below 50 before the five minute marker. Wow, this is faster than last round. I think it's because of the explosive troops. They just speed things like instantly. Blue's gonna get some reinforcements, and they're hopefully gonna um, be enough to go up against this line that is just um, winning the right flank inside the blue territory. Okay. All right, yep, we hit 50. The lower squad gets the uh, the uh, troops first. So open the chest. There we go. Gonna be a little bit because uh, everything's a little slowed down. There are some red troops in here. I'm gonna be closing off the gates. Gates are closed. Finish off these guys. Spawn in the rest. Squads coming in. Reinforcement. Boom, 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 boom. Battle music. Uh, I don't think I should spawn in that bunny. Yes, that bunny was a death. All right. The units are prepared for the blue side. Opening the gates. Hopefully they fight back against the uh, the waves of the red. Red side. There are no blues in here whatsoever. And the king is just. He's having a dance party. He's like, I'm glad I came out today, you know. I was just going to sleep in, but uh, well, we have a war to win, apparently. Sides change. And uh, man, oh man, is this a uh, close one. They're jumping around. They're they're celebrating. It'd be cool if they did have like a, celebra a celebratory dance or something. They uh, they can dab on the haters. Be like, hey, gotcha. You know, remember that fight that we had? Well, we won. Whoa. Uh, spawn in, spawn in, spawn in, come on! Did the, the troops last... <laughs> last troops, yes, there they go! My game mode's gonna activate in 3, 2, 1, there it is. The wall is opening. Red was completely eliminated from the blue side over here. Um, so blue's running the battlefield right now. The rest of the red units are inside their base, defending, it looks like. They're gonna be rushing out. Yep! But they're coming out at a choke point. Blue was overrunning their base uh, gates. They were right in front of it, trying to use a battery ram, it looked like. And red is using a pincer maneuver. They're all running up the middle, dividing the, the blue to the left and right flanks. This is some, like, Roman-esque tactics here. Oh, my gosh. Dude, well, we got Caesar over here commanding it. He's, like, overviewing the battle. And he's like, you know what, bunnies? Let's just hop. Hop and hop. And you know what? We're not going to stop. Move over to the left, we're moving out. Cavalry units on the left flank, keep moving in. All right, everybody on me, they're doing a Congo line, beautiful stuff, all right. And we're gonna we're gonna go right into the, the, the blue lines, make sure we take out their leader first. And uh, if we do, you know what? Drinks on me, boys. Root beer, of course. Um, <laughs> is the blue king still in here? I have a feeling he is. No, these guys are just derpa herpa derpa. That, that's not activated, that nexus, but I'm going to break it anyways. Uh, red king on a bunny, nice. 144 red, 129 blue. That, uh, it it's, might be scaled, because the blue side might be pretty weak from clearing out all the red from before and taking the battlefield. So they won't have 100% health. I think it's going to speed up really quickly. Oh, yeah, there it is. Those explosions inside the blue base are not good. Those explosive units should have been outside. Because inside mainly it's just blue units. So they're killing blue units. Oh, no. It's not looking good. 109 to 101. Come on, men. We can do it. All we have to do is believe. Believe. And don't walk into water. Because clay and water don't really mix. 101 to 95. 93 to 100. It's so freaking close. I'm actually... Not sure who's gonna come out on top. 93 to 91. I think red is fresher though. And that's gonna be the outcome here. Maybe not. Oh my god. Dude! 82 to 87. Whoa! Fireworks going off! Not much happened with that one though. How many more explosive troops do we have? We have a few blue out of the arena. Not able to fight. Uh, how healthy are the super units? King! King goes down! Who's gonna pick it up? It might be a blue unit. A blue unit. A blue explosive unit picked up the crown. There are a few explosives in here. And well, if they keep blowing up, that's gonna help out red. 
it, it's hard to tell who's winning out here because the, the red bunnies. The bunnies might be ridden by uh, some blue units. Down by 11. You guys gotta get out there. Let's be honest. It's such a close fight. If you two, if you five were in the fight, maybe you could turn it. Ten left. Oh my god. Oh jeez. This is so close, man. There is a blue king on the battlefield as well. No other kings that I can see of. I think the super units are all annihilated. They went for Superman, and they made sure he's not going to be getting up for the next day. They used some kryptonite or something like that. What's uh, what's diamonds kryptonite? I mean, emerald maybe. <laughs> Green, blue, I don't know. Coming down to the wire. Nine units. Eight units. Yo, red is on a comeback. That was they were the closest they were back was seven. If they come back from that, I, it could be the, the greatest uh, clay soldier, army soldier battle of all time. It, it it's gonna be insane. Eight units are separating these these two teams, these two armies. It's gonna be written in the the books, history books. They're going down. Two great leaders have fallen today. But you no, know, it's not all about the leader. It's about who picks it up when they go. Cause there have been fallen kings, and there has sometimes not been leaders to uh, provide rule and dictate where to go. Red had a commander that was so strong, keeping them up like 30, 40 soldiers. And then, well, he perished, and you no know, red stepped up to the plate. Until now, red is within two troops of the blue squad, who has the majority of the bunnies. And I think it's the red. The red cavalry is what's holding them in. Oh, now they're down by four, down by five. Outside is won by the um, the red. Definitely, red is winning that. So the units inside of the blue base are going to be coming out, facing these red uh, units, and they're going to be squaring off head to head. This one's gonna decide it all. It, it's so many troops, so many, so much is at stake. If the loser loses, they lose their entire base and their life. So, you know, there's that. Uh oh, five. That explosion was awful for the red side. That was detrimental. Down by five, down by three. Some red units are outside, that's not good. That's an explosive dual wielding bunny hopper. I don't know about you guys, but a dual wielding bunny hopper sounds pretty sketchy to me, you know? He might be fighting for the blue side by taking all that, uh, all the resources and running away with it. Do they see each other? I think what's gonna happen here is one by one, the red units will go inside. I'm going to open up the fences because there are units on left and right flanks that are not involved and it's so close there's no way to just say hey this squad won. It needs it needs to be open. I however won't be opening up the bases because that's the whole point. The bases provide strategy and well if we uh, get rid of the strategy here you know who's to say I just didn't want blue to win. I didn't, I didn't set blue I set blue up to win. Well, actually, if I open up the blue base, it would help the red squad. But, you know, I'm not playing favorites today, okay? We're within three soldiers of a lead. Tons of bunnies left, but nobody to ride them. Bunnyless riders. Riderless bunnies. Blue king. If the blue king goes outside, all the units should probably follow. But he's doing the right thing. He's being patient out here. Is there anybody they're fighting out here? They defeated the uh, the two or three blue soldiers outside. There's not much, guys. There is not much at all out here. And they're hippity. They're hopping in. And they're not fighting. Maybe they have a ceasefire? Oh, one red just dropped. There's a couple fighting in there. Okay, well, let's go view it. Hey, guys, how's it going? He's beating up on this one dude. Oh! What? That that one blew up and Red lost their comeback. Like, they lost a lot of troops in there. There's bunnies out in the wild. Uh, two, within two soldiers, three soldiers. Wait, Blue just gained a soldier back. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe it was out of range? Do bunnies count as soldiers? I don't know. An explosion. Took out some blues. 
It's so freaking close, man. There's a couple fighting in here. Yeah, there's there's one. Um, oh, there's two red soldiers inside of here. There's some more coming in. Coming. <gasps> that explosion! Red is on top. It it did it. It, it brought the comeback. It's making it a reality. Uh, that there's three explosive dudes left on the blue side, and their king. Within four, can blue come back? This is taking a while because of how little troops there are. Four left. There we go. Come on, men, 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 come on. You can do it. I think, I believe. Smashing them around. I will come back as soon as it's down to the wire. King. He was the last soldier inside of the base. I don't know where these two other blue soldiers went. They gotta be somewhere, man. They're out here. One left, two left. Okay, they they have to be a little further away. But you know what to do if you want some more, guys. Smash the like buttons and Atlanteans unite! And uh, let's get these all dropped in. Gunpowder, gold nugget, and diamond. So the diamond creates a super true. Oh wait, oh geez, oh geez. Um, yeah, the, it it creates a super troop, but I thought one of them was gonna t pick it up. Uh, that's not good. There, there's a lot of super troops in there. Uh. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta redo that. Uh, I only got, I only want one soup. All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do for creating the diamond soldier. I place one unit, that's it, and uh, then I place down the diamond and picked it up. So there's only one super soldier on each side. Look at them all hopping around. This super soldier is actually riding a bunny, so he's gonna be freaking lethal. There's 32 shear blades and also the gunpowder. So let me explain what the gunpowder does. We've never used it before. Basically, if the troop dies, it explodes. Yeah, crazy stuff. <laughs> so watch out. Round number two is getting a little bit intense. Uh, let's see what happens. Open the gates. Gate, um, could you lay open? Oh, thank you. Uh, you too, sir? Oh, yes, uh, kind sir. How many troops do we have each? 146, 146. Uh, okay. Good luck, each side. Uh, Blue's just roaming around, not sure what he's doing, you know. Lazy on the job. He's like, oh god, there's the army! <gasps> oh my gosh. So there is the uh, crown troop. So the gold nugget creates a king, and everybody follows the king. Now look at this king right here. He has dual wielding shear blades. He has the gunpowder buff to him. You can see the spots all over him. So he, he's like a mega troop. <gasps> oh, dude, that was insane! They just blew up. Everybody took a ton of damage on both sides. So the troops die. That, that, oh my gosh. That's nuts. Uh, so they have a mega king over here. Where is the blue king? He's supposed to be leading his troops. They all follow the king. And I'm having a feeling he's in here somewhere. Oh, let me break that. There he is. He was trapped. He couldn't leave his army. There's so many of the, the blue guys trapping him. Oh my gosh. The only way they could win is with their king. They're all inside there. Uh, their main cavalry outside is just getting demolished by the Red Army. Not looking good. Let's get a little bit of an update from... Oh, 107 though. Hold on. Blue's clearing the floor. They're picking up the Red. And, and most of their forces are inside their base. I, I don't believe this. The King is cowardly. He's staying in the side of the base. 80. They're all, they're all dropping. Look how fast they're dropping. 85 Red people left. 124 blue. Is this going to be a back-to-back -back victory? 
Whoa! Explosions over here. I think it's gonna speed up really quickly. Oh, yeah, there it is. Those explosions inside the blue base are not good. Those explosive units should have been outside because inside mainly it's just blue units, so they're killing blue units. Oh, no. It's not looking good. 109 to 101. Come on, men. We can do it. All we have to do is believe. Believe. And don't walk into water because clay and water don't really mix. 101 to 95, 93 to 100. It's so freaking close. I'm actually not sure who's going to come out on top. 93 to 91. I think red is fresher, though. And that's going to be the outcome here. Maybe not. Oh, my God. Dude. 82 to 87. Whoa, fireworks going off. Not much happened with that one, though. How many more explosive troops do we have? We have a few blue out of the arena. Not able to fight. Uh... How healthy are the super units? King! King goes down! Who's gonna pick it up? It might be a blue unit. A blue unit. A blue explosive unit picked up the crown. There are a few explosives in here. And, well, if they keep blowing up, that's gonna help out red. It, it's hard to tell who's winning out here because the, the red bunnies. The bunnies might be ridden by uh, some blue units. Down by 11. You guys gotta get out there. Let's be honest. It's such a close fight. If you two, if you five were in the fight, maybe you could turn it. 10 left. Oh my god. Oh jeez. This is so close, man. There is a blue king on the battlefield as well. No other kings that I can see of. I think the super units are all annihilated. They went for Superman. And they made sure he's not going to be getting up for the next day. They used some kryptonite or something like that. What's uh what's diamond's kryptonite? I mean emerald maybe? <laughs> it's green, blue, I don't know. Coming down to the wire. Nine units, eight units! Yo, red is on a comeback! That was they were the closest they were back was seven. If they come back from that I, it could be the, the greatest uh, clay soldier, army soldier battle of all time. It it it's gonna be insane. Eight units are separating these these two teams these two armies it's gonna be written in the the books history books are going down two great leaders have fallen today but you know it's not all about the leader it's about who picks it up when they go because there have been fallen kings and there has sometimes not been leaders to uh, provide rule and dictate where to go red had a commander that was so strong keeping them up like 30 40 soldiers and then, well, he perished and... <laughs> Last troops, yes, there they go. My game mode's gonna activate in three, two, one. There it is. The wall is opening. Red was completely eliminated from the blue side over here. Um, so blue's running the battlefield right now. The rest of the red units are inside their base, defending, it looks like. They're gonna be rushing out. Yep. But they're coming out at a choke point. Blue was overrunning their base while, uh, gates. They were right in front of it, trying to use a battery ram, it looked like. And red is using a pincer maneuver. They're all running up the middle, dividing the, the blue to the left and right flanks. This is some, like, Roman-esque tactics here. Oh, my gosh. Dude, well, we got Caesar over here commanding it. He's, like, overviewing the battle. And he's like, you know what, bunnies? Let's just hop. Hop and hop. And you know what? We're not going to stop. Move over to the left, we're moving out. Cavalry units on the left flank, keep moving in. All right, everybody on me, they're doing a Congo line, beautiful stuff, all right. And we're gonna we're gonna go right into the, the, the blue lines, make sure we take out their leader first. And uh, if we do, you know what? Drinks on me, boys. Root beer, of course. Um, <laughs> is the blue king still in here? I have a feeling he is. No, these guys are just derpa herpa derpa. That, that's not activated, that nexus, but I'm going to break it anyways. Uh, red king on a bunny, nice. 144 red, 129 blue. That, uh, it it's, might be scaled, because the blue side might be pretty weak from clearing out all the red from before and taking the battlefield. So they won't have 100% health. I think it's going to speed up really quickly. Oh, yeah, there it is. 
those explosions inside the blue base are not good. Those explosive units should have been outside, because inside mainly it's just blue units, so they're killing blue units. Oh, no. It's not looking good. 109 to 101. Come on, men. We can do it. All we have to do is believe. Believe. And don't walk into water, because clay and water don't really mix. 101 to 95, 93 to 100. It's so freaking close. I'm actually not sure who's going to come out on top. 93 to 91. I think red is fresher, though. And that's going to be the outcome here. Maybe not. Oh, my God. Dude. 82 to 87. Whoa, fireworks going off. Not much happened with that one, though. How many more explosive troops do we have? We have a few blue out of the arena. Not able to fight. Uh... How healthy are the super units? King! King goes down! Who's gonna pick it up? It might be a blue unit. A blue unit. A blue explosive unit picked up the crown. There are a few explosives. Sides change. And uh, man, oh man. Is this a uh, close one? They're jumping around. They're they're celebrating. It'd be cool if they did have like a, celebra a celebratory dance or something. They, uh, they can dab on the haters. Be like, hey, gotcha. You know, remember that fight that we had? Well, we won. Whoa. Uh, spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. Come on. Did the, the troops last... <laughs> last troops. Yes, there they go. My game mode's gonna activate in three, two, one. There it is. The wall is opening. Red was completely eliminated from the blue side over here. Um... So blue's running the battlefield right now. The rest of the red units are inside their base, defending, it looks like. They're going to be rushing out. Yep. But they're coming out at a choke point. Blue was overrunning their base while, uh, gates. They were right in front of it, trying to use a battery ram, it looked like. And red is using a pincer maneuver. They're all running up the middle, dividing the, the blue to the left and right flanks. This is some, like... Roman-esque tactics here. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, we got Caesar over here commanding it. He's like overviewing the battle. And he's like, you know what, bunnies? Let's just hop. Hop and hop and you know what? We're not going to stop. Move over to the left. We're moving out. Cavalry units on the left flank. Keep moving in. All right, everybody on me. They're doing a Congo line. Beautiful stuff. All right. And we're going we're gonna to go right into the, the, the blue lines. Make sure we take out their leader first. And uh, if we do, you know what? Drinks on me, boys. Root beer, of course. Um, <laughs> is the Blue King still in here? I have a feeling he is. No, these guys are just derpa herpa derpa. That that's not activated that nexus, but I'm gonna break it anyways. Uh, Red King on a bunny, nice. 144 red, 129 blue. That uh, it, it's might be scaled because the blue side might be pretty weak from clearing out all the red from before and taking the battlefield. So they won't have 100% health. I think it's going to speed up really quickly. Oh, yeah, there it is. Those explosions inside the blue base are not good. Those explosive units should have been outside, because inside mainly it's just blue units, so they're killing blue units. Oh, no. It's not looking good. 109 to 101. Come on, men. We can do it. All we have to do is believe. Believe. And don't walk into water, because clay and water don't really mix. 101 to 95, 93 to 100. It's so freaking close! I'm actually not sure who's going to come out on top. 93 to 91. I think red is fresher, though. And that's going to be the outcome here. The red, uh, the blue king is riding a bunny, a red bunny. That That is savage, man. It's like, you know what? I'm going to beat you guys. And then I'm going to ride you a bunny. Uh, that one took out a bunch of blue troops. I don't know where the second red troop is. I only saw the super soldier. That's the only one taking damage. So there is a stray red one around. He's probably kept alive to go tell uh, the rest of the people not to come back. Because uh, blue is just so dominant. All right. Yep, we're moving on to the uh, last and final round here. Round number three. If you voted for blue, well, you voted for probably the wrong, the, the right team. They've been wiping the floor today. 
making fools out of the red squad. It's not even funny, man. Look at them. They're, just, they're dropping like flies. Uh, third round is going to be a little bit hectic here. I'm excited to see what happens, though, because there's a crap ton of troops. Twice as many. I mean, oof, we're going to be dealing with like 150. Three, I mean, 300 of them. 600 total? I'm going to hold off on spawning in all the troops. I've spawned in basically half of them. And uh, that's going to be because, well, there's a bit of a lag issue with all these guys. It doesn't look like a lag issue, but see, I opened the gate and, well, <laughs> it takes a little bit. So I'm going to open them both up. They're going to start attacking. And after like a few minutes, I think maybe five minutes, I'll place in the rest of the remaining troops and they'll have reinforcements each. Here we go. The gates are open. Dual wielding exploder. Look, oh, he faked them out. One red out there. Is he going to meet the blue? Blue's open. They're kind of staying quiet. Dual wielding a, a nugget, or the king over there. Dual wielding blade king hiding by the board. Maybe what's happening here is the, the board just ate the king? Well, what I was going to say is maybe the boar is working with the blue side. But I saw the king go over there, and then I saw him disappear. Uh, is the king caught up in behind here? Oh, there he is. What? I don't understand words. Words can't explain what just happened. Uh, we're at 154 red, 159 blue. I don't know, man. Whoa! That was a mainly red side blow. They're not going to be regening. They're just going to be... They're going to take that damage and they're gonna be low when they go to fight some other troops but it didn't drop them pick them up see what we got some troops that yeah oh wow ah the explosions oh explosions oh this is picking up really fast 142 to 148 those massive explosions in the blue lines are proven that the red side is not going to go down without a fight it's close there are none on the battlefield let's get the second round ready to go I'll show you guys what we got in store today. I gotta actually clear my inventory because I don't want to have any extra stuff in there. Here we go. So round number two, we have a full uh, row of these soldiers who are going to be fighting today. Each side has that. Three units of bunnies, 32 shear blades, a diamond, a gold nugget, and gunpowder. So I'll explain what those other items do. They power up the units just like the shear blades. But they also serve another purpose. Okay, here we go. All the red soldiers are in the battle right now. Red bunnies. Beautiful. And uh, let's get these all dropped in. Gunpowder, gold nugget, and diamond. So the diamond creates a super true... Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, the, it, it creates a super troop, but I thought one of them was going to pick it up. Uh, that's not good. There, there's a lot of super troops in there. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta redo that. Uh, I only got, I only want one super. All right, so I figured out what I'm gonna do for creating the diamond soldier. I place one unit. That's it. And uh, then I placed down the diamond and picked it up. So there's only one super soldier on each side. Look at them all hopping around. This super soldier is actually riding a bunny, so he's going to be freaking lethal. There's 32 shear blades and also the gunpowder. So let me explain what the gunpowder does. We've never used it before. Basically, if the troop dies, it explodes. Yeah, crazy stuff. <laughs> so watch out. Round number two is getting a little bit intense. Uh, let's see what happens. Open the gates. Gate, um, could you lay open? Oh, thank you. Uh, you too, sir? Oh, yes, uh, kind sir. How many troops do we have each? 146, 146. Uh, okay. Good luck, each side. Uh, Blue's just roaming around, not sure what he's doing, you know. Lazy on the job. He's like, oh, God, there's the army. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So there is the uh, crown troop. So the gold nugget creates a king, and everybody follows the king. Now, look at this king right here. He has dual-wielding shear blades. He has the gunpowder buff to him. You can see the spots all over him. So he, he's like a mega troop. <gasps> oh, dude, that was insane. They just blew up. Everybody took a ton of damage on both sides. So the troops die. That, that, oh my gosh. That's nuts. Uh, so they have a mega king over here. Where is the blue king? He's supposed to be leading his troops. They all follow the king. And I'm having a feeling he's, 
in here somewhere. Oh, let me break that. There he is. He was trapped. He couldn't leave his army. There's so many of the, the blue guys trapping him. Oh my gosh. The only way they could win is... A lot of the bunny mounts are starting to take the damage. The bunny mounts won't respawn. So once the bunnies die, they, they're, they're dead for good. Because, yeah. Bunnies don't come back to life if they die. But uh, clay soldiers do. What are you doing, sir? Get out there in the battle. It's sitting here in your base looking like a scr scrub. I think the the uh, the breaking sound is the shear blades because they only have a certain amount of uses. This guy, you're gonna... Like, if the king sees you, he's gonna be mad. What? He's going for a sneak attack. Yo, what if I just open up the back? He's got, this guy died way out here. Crazy. Blue is moving in. Their offensive has begun. There are a few reserves out here. Um, not sure why they have such a... A presence in the back here. How many units do we have? There's only 19, 18 red still alive. They gotta dismantle this freaking Nexus. They haven't even moved up to it. The, the red are making themselves known though. Out here in the battlefield. Trying to distract them. Trying to get some troops to come back to life. There's a lone bunny that has no rider. No rider bunny. It's all alone. The bunny bunny. Oh! Oh, that guy made an attempt to go for the Nexus. It's coming out. Maybe I won't do two Nexus because it kind of makes them last a little bit too long. This battle's playing out pretty well, though, for the blue side. I think they're going to come out on top here. Let's see how many we got left. Dang, damage indicators go away for a moment. Twelve red remain alive. I see... They're the same units, guys. Same exact units. It's all about how they, they, they play their defenses. Do they leave their houses, their bases, and attack? Or do they stay and defend? He's, oh, this guy's going into the base. He's taking them out 1v1, dude. One damage. Now they do have 20 health, so that's gonna... Take a while with the one hits. Jeez. Will there be a comeback? 9 and 59 left. Oh my gosh, they are riding in style here. <laughs> Some units are coming back to life. Nice. Keep it up. You just gotta outlast them. Well, we're gonna we're gonna watch this play out and see what happens, and see if Blue can get their act together and finish them off once and for all. Alright guys, I'm going to have to call this. I don't know why.